what is up everybody welcome back to the channel shout out to my girl michelle real estate agent crushing it in the state of arizona crushing it in the city of tucson and Vail. um just top on top of her game man on top of her game putting out video um and just looking over looking looking at looking to dominate the real estate market in her in her in her local area so you guys, in this video, I'm going to simply walk you through a simple, simple video. This is part of my strategy, man. This is what I consult on. This is what I've been teaching real estate agents um, and online entrepreneurs since 2016. This should always be your, in fact, it should be your second Facebook ad, your, your first Facebook ad ever, ever, ever. So when you come to your business page and you're looking to just roll out for the first time, some of you guys that are watching this, you guys have been, you know, running ads, you know, in your sleep for years. But for those of you that are that are that are brand new, for those of you that are starting out for the first time, the very first two, and, and this is for those of you that are a local business owner, right? If you're a local business owner and you're actually the face to the brand, you're the face to the business. Um, maybe you're a real estate agent, maybe you're 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 a real estate agent, maybe you're a um a, a home inspector, maybe you're a yoga ins instructor, maybe you own a local gym, maybe you're a local dentist, a local chiropractor, a local doctor, maybe you're a local mechanic, maybe you're a local landscaper, whatever, man. If you're that small local business owner, you are the face of the brand, right? Um, and so what I always consult on are the first two ads you should ever run. Ad number two is the like ad, which we're going to be like, we're not going to be running in this actual video. We're going to go straight into ad number two, but the very first ad you should run is that like ad. Okay. This number, when I come to this page, I should see 5,700. That's the very first ad you want to run. Now leads don't come from likes, right? A ton of engagement don't, doesn't even come from likes. So as you start to post on your business page, if you had 5,700 likes, it's not like you're going to have 5,700 people that comment on your post every time you post. It's not going to happen that way because Facebook only ends up showing your organic post to 1% of that like count. That's why you absolutely have to run Facebook ads on this page. Like this page, this business page, I consult, again, I consult business owners every single day, man. I'm on the line with business owners talking social media strategy and Facebook ads every single day. And that's been that way since 2016. And it's like most businesses think that their Facebook business page means something. And I'm here to tell you right now, it only means something if you're running Facebook ads. If you're not running Facebook ads, deactivate your Facebook business page. Run everything out of your personal page. Build an organic following, request 5,000 friends, and post every damn day on that personal page if you're not running ads. But if you are going to step it up in 2021 and start putting out some paid advertising, start running some Facebook ads targeting your ideal client, that's what this business page is for. This business page is not to post organically because, again, it doesn't matter how many likes you have you're not going to get a ton of engagement. Facebook is not showing your post to everybody at all. You absolutely have to run Facebook ads. However, the first impression and the, and the perception that an individual has when they land on your business page for the very first time is priceless when they see a comma in this like number. That's why I always, always advise, I always consult, I always recommend that your very, very, very first Facebook ad needs to be a like ad just to simply take up the likes. Every single one of you that are, that are watching this video right now, I guarantee you, I challenge you, man. I challenge you. I challenge you. Comment below. Comment below if you have a comma in your like number, okay? If you have a comma in your like number, comment below, okay? So let me go, let me go to my page real quick. Comment below if you have a comma in your like number, okay? Most of you don't, and that's just the way it is. Here's my business page right here, Matt, 10,000. I only got there because I ran a like ad. That was the very first Facebook ad I ever ran on this page is a like ad to bring the credibility, to bring the social proof, to bring that authority perception that David is the big swinging you know what of the industry, right? Only because of a like, a like number. So most people have 100 likes, 97 most people that are getting this video right now have 300 likes, right? So the first ad should be the like the like ad, okay? Again, 10 exit, whatever number you're at. If you're at 200 likes, take it, take it to 2,000. 
If you're at 400 likes right now, take it to 4,000. Just simply 10X wherever you're at right now. If you got 700 likes on your Facebook business page, take it to 7,000. And it's a one-time ad. It's a one-time ad. You're targeting everyone on Facebook. Um, and, 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 and you're simply doing that on one, one single budget. It's not a monthly budget. It's a, it's a one-time budget. Throw a few bucks at that ad and take that like count up. Okay, that's ad number one. Where I'm at right now with Michelle, we're going straight to ad number two. We're going straight to this video ad. We're going straight to an introduction, an intro video. This is what I always, always recommend my clients do, especially if you're a local business owner. Just because you've been in your town forever, just because you've been living there for the past 57 years, you don't know everyone. Unless you're the mayor of that city or that town, you don't know everyone. So just because you've been in school, you've been you've been going there, you've been living there, and you've been you you went to grade school there, you still don't know everyone, right? Right? Like I'm I'm in San Diego. I've been in San Diego 40 years, right? I'm gonna keep it real. 40 years I've been in San Diego, right? I I, I went to grade school here, I went to freaking middle school, high school damn near college. I went to everything here in San Diego. There's 3 million plus people in my city. I don't even know my damn neighbors, right? So it's like, even if you've been in your area forever, you don't know everyone. So here's how we're going to get to know the neighbor. This is how we're going to get to know our local audience. This is how we're going to target our local community and at least say hello, at least introduce ourselves. And we're going to do it with the power and the leverage of Facebook video ads. This is the first video. This is her. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Michelle and I'm a realtor in Tucson, AZ. Look at how awesome this video is, man. 253. And here's another thing, man. Michelle, again, she's on top of her game. She don't play around. She's in it to win it. She's going all in with me, right? Facebook ads, social media marketing. This chick is all in and crushing it. So you can tell by the video, it's a little bit more high produced, but I'm here to tell you right now, man, it don't got to be that crazy at all. It does not need to be this fancy. It does not need to be this edited. You can literally pull out your cell phone and go on a two minute rant about yourself, your background, your experience, your passion, why you're so fired up to help people with your business, why you love helping people buy or sell in your industry, whatever the hell you're, you're whatever business you're offering. Let people know why you're excited and why you love to help people. Let them know about how you've been servicing the local area for the past two years, the last 27 years. Let them know who the hell you are. It's a simple intro. It's not a it's not a pitch. It's not saying, hey, man, call me. I'm going to freaking close your deal right now. No, dude, it's just an intro. Hello, my name is Michelle. I'm your local realtor. Here's a little bit about my background, my family, my passion, why I'm so excited and why I love to help people. Very, very, very non-aggressive intro. What you want to do with this, you guys, this is what I call Facebook ad number two. The like ad, taking this to 5,700, that's ad number one. The intro, and, and what I'm about to do now is take you through a full-blown setup of running this intro ad. So this is going to be a Facebook video ad, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you my strategy behind it all. But this is ad number two, and this is going to be the first ad of a of, of video, for example, right? The like ad is not a video. The like ad is very generic, an image targeting everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of maybe real estate or fits the interest of your business, right? Um, but that's a different ad. This over here, we're now going into video. We're now going into a weekly campaign. We're now ready to start. Our, our launch, right? We're, we're, we're launching right now. That's what this is. We're launching the Facebook like ad. That's somewhat of a launch, but it's just a like ad. It's behind the scenes. There's no post on the page. It's running behind us. It's, it's what we call a dark post because it's, 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 it's an ad running behind the scenes. The post or the image is not, it's not a video. It's not on the business page. Um, it just runs behind the scenes, but this video, here's what you want to do. As you launch your video campaign, and if you're not doing video, you guys, you have to start doing video. Um, you got to put yourself out there, man. You got to put that face out and connect with your local audience. Trust me, man. It has nothing to do with how you look. It has nothing to do with how you freaking smell. Like It has nothing to do with any of that, man. I don't care about your hair. Don't care about your makeup. Don't care if your nails are done. None of that. None of that matters, man. Pull out your cell phone and start going on, 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 on day in the life's of your hustle. That's document, man. Like start documenting, not trying to create. Stop trying to create. Most of us are not creative people. 
you may think you're creative, but in reality, we're not creative people. Unless you're an artist, unless you're freaking a musician. Okay, cool. You're, 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 you, you, you're an artist, right? But most of us are not that. Like, I'm not no creative person. If you look at all these damn videos on my YouTube channel, all I've been doing since 2016, 2017, all these damn videos, 99 point and shit. Well, shit, let me take that back. 100, 100% of them, 100%, depending on when you're watching this video, 600 plus videos on this damn YouTube channel. 100% are me documenting what I'm doing. Day in the life of my hustle. I'm documenting, right? That's how you want to approach this, right? That's how you want to approach it. Now, in this case, this is an intro video. So yeah, she's documenting. Look, she's at an open house. Maybe she's at a listing. She's documenting. Maybe this is this is a time when she was meeting some clients. So she brought a camera crew out and said, hey, man, let's get some footage. She's documenting. But obviously, there's a little bit more editing and it's a little bit more, you know, polished and produced. But it doesn't have to be that crazy. It could be cell phone day in the life. That needs to be your video content. That's what you need to be pushing as a Facebook ad. So here's what we're going to do, you guys. This is ad number one, video number one. We're going to target her local area and get thousands of people to view this video. Now, let me tell you what the strategy is here. The strategy is to build a custom audience. The strategy is to target Tucson where she's doing business and and, and, and have, a pit, have a potential wreath reach of a, of a couple hundred thousand people. But at the end of the day, there's only going to be a few thousand that actually fit our criteria. And what what is our criteria? Our criteria is right over here, our custom audience. So what we're going to do, our whole objective with this video, it's not to capture leads. It's not a lead ad. I'm going to walk you through the full-blown setup right now. It's not a lead ad. It's a video view ad. The whole objective is to capture our audience. And that's what this is right here. So as we set it, as we set up a custom audience, that's this right here. 25% of tip one seller guide video. So let me um let me double check, make sure this is the right, right one. Yep, that's the video right there. So what we're doing is we're looking, this is a this is a two minute and fifty-three second video. We are looking to capture an audience of those who watch it for 25%. So those who watch 25% of this 253 are going to go into this custom audience. That's the whole objective. And then as we continue to run our ads, as we go on to ad number, number two, ad number three, ad number four, video ad number five, video number six, we're going to always retarget this audience. And this is, this is a video that we're going to be running multiple times. Like this is an intro video. We want this to run in Tucson for a long time. And we'll just continue to build this audience and continue to retarget those who are watching 25%. And you can create custom audiences around any percentage, but 25% is a good, is a good, is a good mark. It's a good mark. So here's what we did. And here's what we're going to do. We uploaded the video on the page first, right? Wrote out the text. And, and put everything. So everything is here. We even put a headline. So let's go, let's go back into it real quick. So there's the headline, how to sell your home during COVID. That's the headline, right? And then here is the text. So we post it and upload it on the page first, just like you would any other post. And as you're, as you're going in to run it as an ad, Make sure you write everything correct. Make sure there's no misspelled words. Make sure everything is 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 on the up and up. Make sure that 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 it is what it is. Because once we go set it as an ad, we're not going to be able to edit this text. Okay, so you always want to make sure that the text is ready to go. No commas missing. No periods missing. It it it, it looks good, right? Um, and that's all the information right there. So we're perfect. So we we upload it on the business page, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to the ads manager. And the way you get here is simply come to um, click on the home right here at the top, click on the little house or whatever. And then you're going to come over here to the left hand side and you're going to click on ads manager. That right there will bring you to this section right here. OK, so here's what we're going to do. Full blown A to Z. This is straight from the jump. This is straight from the beginning. And here's how we get down. Click the green button. That's all you're going to do. And depending on what business you're in, like as far as industry, in this case, Michelle is a real estate broker. She's a realtor. She's in the housing industry, right? So here's where it starts right here. We're going to choose our objective. All we're going to do with this one is video views, okay? 
the only two. Now, if you're the type of business that is looking for leads, if you're the type of business who 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 would like appointments, if you're the type of business who hasn't maybe you have an e-commerce you know website, you're selling physical products on a Shopify and you're looking to make sales. Okay, if you're looking to make sales, if you're looking to generate leads, or if you're looking to schedule appointments, ten out of ten times it's going to be conversions. Okay, now again, this is our first ad. This is our video ad. This is our intro ad. We're going to do video views. Okay. We're going to do video views. And again, the only objective to run that is to capture a custom audience. Okay. Capture a warm audience, which we can then turn around on our very next ad, run conversions and retarget all those who watched the intro. Okay. So that's how you build a brand. That's how you start targeting a local area. That's how you create this omnipresence because people keep seeing your ads. The ones that are watching it, keep seeing them because you keep retargeting the ones that, that are watching, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go video views. We're going to hit this drop down, and we're going to go ahead and give the campaign name, intro video, and we're going to go, um, we're going to go intro video, and we're going to go parentheses video views the ad set i already know we're going to go tucson and we're not going to go multiple ad sets on this because we're not going conversions we're not looking to capture leads so we don't need to break up the ad sets we don't need to micromanage the metrics on the cost per lead we don't need to do any of that we're going to go run a, a full-blown broad video view ad of simply her introducing herself okay so i'm going to go ad set tucson and then and then the ad is is the same pretty much as this top one. It's the video. It's simply the intro video. That's all. And then I'll hit the blue one. Now, as I mentioned a, a few, you know, a minute ago, if you're in one of these industries over here, okay, let's go in. We chose our objective video views. Again, after this, we're going all conversions. But in the meantime, we're going to go video views. And over here, you're going to see um, – your uh, your special ad category. So this right here, you guys, applies for, for actually, let me turn it on. So right here, this is very, very important. If you're a real estate agent or if you're in the credit industry, employment, you're looking to hire people, ads for job offers, internships, professional cert certification programs, or other related opportunities, social issues, elections, or politics. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh, dude, I hate politics. Um. But housing. So if you're in real estate, bam, you got to go housing every single time. If you don't turn this thing blue, your ad will get rejected. So that's all we got to do right here. So we're in the first step right here, campaigns, right? We, we, we set the special ad category. We scroll down. We don't need budget optimization right now at all. We're going to hit next. So now we're going into the second step, which is the ad set. So all we're going to do, we named it already because this, again, it's going to be a broad ad. So we're targeting the entire city of Tucson um, with this one. And normally... When we go conversion ads, so for example, again, the first ad should be your like ad. The second ad should be your intro ad. Your third ad needs to be conversions. That's when we start going in and capturing leads, okay? So when you're going in and capturing leads, let's say, for example, on our third ad, that's when we'll want to go daily budget. And, and, you'll, and it's good to start at five, five bucks a day. But that's when you'll create multiple ad sets. You'll create multiple targeting. You'll create... Um, multiple keywords that you're targeting and i'll make another video for that but that's multiple ad sets when you'll simply go daily budget five bucks and just do it times five or do it times ten you'll you'll create ten different keywords you'll create individually separately ten different targeting right ad sets right that's for ad number three and on right conversions but in this one, we're going to go lifetime. We're going to go lifetime and we're going to put a hundred bucks. We're going to simply put a hundred bucks towards this simple intro video and get us our audience. We need to find the people who resonate with us. We need to find the people who vibe with us. We need to find people that say, hey, man, that chick, I could dig her. And, and those are the people who watch 25%, right? We're looking for that audience, that needle in the haystack in the city of Tucson. And we're going to spend to find that audience so we can then build a relationship and continue to target them, or I should say retarget them um, in the future. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go lifetime budget. Today is the 17th. So I'm going to, I'm going to start this ad on the 18th, and I'm going to start it at 6 a.m. So it's going to go live 
at 6 a.m. and we're gonna run it to the eighth. Okay, and I'm gonna turn this to 6 a.m. And we're gonna go from the 18th to the eighth. Hundred dollars lifetime budget, and we're gonna scroll down. And right here again, if I was on ad number three, okay, if I was on ad number three. Actually, no, I take that back. Number four, because ad number one is the like ad. Number two is this one, the intro ad. Ad number three is when we start running conversions and we start capturing leads. By the time we get to ad number four, by that time, we'll have leads. And so at that point, that's when you'll start retargeting custom audiences, those who are watching your videos, or you'll start excluding custom audiences, those who actually become leads, right? So Custom audiences, that's where your money is at. That's where you have to keep retargeting. And, and that's where you're going to see your ROI is in your custom audiences. But again, this is our first ad, our intro ad. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave that part blank. We don't need any of that. We're going to change the location and we're going to go, we're going to X out and we're going to go Tucson. But here's what you want to do as well, you guys. Tucson, we're going to, we're going to cover the whole city of Tucson and we're going to go as wide as we can, which is 50. So we're going to take it out. We're going to take it out. We want everyone and their mother watching this damn video. Um, everyone in that area. And, and this right here is important. People living in or recently in this location. I don't want that. I don't want my mom who's traveling from San Diego going to freaking Tucson to visit her homegirl. And then, and then she comes back. Like she ain't no resident. She, ain't, she don't care about your video ad, right? So I don't need people who, 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 who were recently in the location. No, I need people living in the location. I don't need people recently in the location or people traveling. I need people living in this location. Again, if you're a local business owner, you want these ad dollars to really go towards your ideal client, okay, or customer. So people living in this location, that's very, very important. So we're targeting Tucson, got that. Age in housing specifically we cannot change the age so so depending on what type of business you're in then you can change the age if you're not going special ad category and if you're if you're not going housing for example then you can probably change the age but in housing you cannot you cannot change the gender you cannot change the age and nor do we care it's all good like we're going to just target everyone and and we're going to get everyone to see it so we're going to click on editing on this and we're not even going to put in any keywords now this right here is super important to break it down per keyword when you're when you're running conversions and you're creating multiple ad sets that's one reason that's one 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 that's one time it'll be important another time it'll be important is when you're offering when you're selling physical products when you're selling physical products and you're and you know that that physical product is only for a specific niche and you're targeting the entire country let's say for example i have a website and i sell perfume i sell women's perfume I sell women's perfume and I sell nationwide. In fact, it's an online website, so I can sell it to the entire world if I wanted to. But let's say I was targeting only the US. It's it's women's perfume. So I wouldn't target necessarily all gender. I wouldn't target 18 to 65. And I wouldn't just leave the detail targeting wide open. I would actually start putting in some keywords, but again, separate them with multiple ad sets but I would for sure set them up. That's conversions. That's when you have a specific type of product and that's when you're marketing nationwide, for example. In this case, we're targeting a very specific location. We're targeting Tucson. There ain't that many people in there. I mean, 720, that's a good amount, but at the same time, um, it's not. Like 720, is it, it, it is good. It is good. But based on our budget, we're only going to reach this many people anyways. So I don't want to narrow it down. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to start putting in keywords and narrow this reach down even further, because the one fifty four to four forty four. That's all based on my budget. That's all based on that hundred dollars a day, from now until the eighth of January. It's all based on that 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 dollar budget. So. I don't need to narrow this reach down any further. I'm going to just target the entire city. I am the face of Tucson. I'm about to take this damn city over, and I am the big swing, you know what, of the damn town. So target everyone, man. And, and for the cost, might as well. Like, shit, target everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that blank. I'm going to leave it wide open. I'm going to come down here. Now, I will, I will um, narrow down the actual language. I'm going to go English all. Because all, you know, no disrespect, shout out to all my Vietnamese and shout out to my freaking Haitians and shout out to all my freaking 
Filipinos, but shit. I need people who speak English to see my ad. You know what I mean? I need spe- I need people to speak English. And all that really did is it dropped it to 700,000 if you can see potential reach, right? But again, the potential reach, it don't mean nothing because based on my dollar budget, I'm not going to reach that many people anyways. I'm only going to reach 152 to 439 a day. So I'm not even putting a dent in the 700,000. So again, local business owner focused on a local area. Don't even worry about these numbers, man. Just, just, just target and, 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 and get these videos out, man. That's what it's all about. Leave it on automatic placement. Come down, come down, and we hit next. That's it. That's all we need to worry about for, for, for step two, which is the ad set. Now we're going to finalize the ad right here. We already named it right here in the beginning. We named it. We're going to make sure that our page is right there. If we have an Instagram account, we're going to tie it up right there. Now, this, it, this isn't an ad for Instagram. We'll run Instagram ads separately. However, we'll still plug in our Instagram account right there since we are running automatic placements. And over here, let's go back to the step two, Tucson. Automatic placements is down here. This right here, use automatic placements to maximize your budget and help show your ads to more people. Um, to more people, Facebook's delivery system will allocate your ad sets budget across multiple placements based on where they where they're likely to perform best. So we let Facebook do all the heavy lifting. Let let Facebook show that damn ad to where 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 it's most relevant. But if I wanted to, I can go manual placement. And say, you know what, Facebook? No, nah, man, I don't trust you guys. Don't show it in the messenger. Don't even show it on Instagram. Don't show it in your audience network, whatever the hell that is. And you can just scroll through all these. You can scroll through each one to see what it is. It shows you to the right-hand side where that placement is at. So it shows you. Now, I can narrow it down and say, okay, Facebook, you know what? Only show it in the news feed. Forget about your marketplace. Forget about your Facebook video feeds. Forget about your, your Facebook stories. Forget about in-stream. Forget about all that. Let's just go forget about that. Forget about in-article. Let's take all that out. I could tell Facebook, you know what? Take it out of all this other mumbo jumbo and only keep it in the news feed, right? The news feed. And that's where, to tell you the truth, man, that's where all the attention is at anyways. So now that I'm really thinking about it, I might as well just go with that anyways, based on the budget right? Based on the budget, it's not like, it's not like we're spending a thousand bucks. We're spending a hundred. So based on the budget, I might as well, I might as well edit placement. I might as well go manual placements, not automatic. Because again, if I go automatic, everything is checked and I'm just spreading. I'm all I'm doing is spreading myself thin. I only have a hundred bucks. So it's like, shit, I don't really need my hundred bucks to go to all these other placements that are most likely not the most clickable, not where the most attention is, not where, and Facebook allocates the funds. Facebook for sure does. They're not going to show your freaking ad in, in, in the messenger stories over here. If people aren't really seeing it, or if, if people really aren't engaging, I should say, right. If people are not, if you're not finding 25 percenters up in there, Facebook is, is likely to not even show it there to not waste that budget. But at the same time, I want to go the extra step and just, and, and just be precautious and say, you know what, dude, let me just manually do this shit myself. Let me, let me, let me micromanage this myself. Let me uncheck everything myself and only keep it in the news feed. And again, when you're, when you're working with a smaller budget, a hundred bucks, you know, when you're working with a smaller budget, you may want to do that. And to tell you the truth, I'm going to do it with this one. I'm going to do it with this one. We want all pennies. We want every dime. I want every quarter. I want every freaking dollar. I want a hundred of them going to the news feed only. So when people are scrolling through their news feed, and this is where the most attention is at, look, this dude right here, shout out to freaking Kajabi, shout out to freaking Ishmael, whoever the hell this guy may be, right? Shout out to them. They are running a video ad in the news feed. Now over here on the right hand side, look, I can, I can come over here and I can see ads over here. Actually, those are all freaking, um, well, there's no ads yet on the right-hand side. However, normally there is. Um, let's go. Yeah, normally there is. Normally there is. Normally there's ads over here on the right-hand side. However, most of those ads don't even get clicked on. That's what I'm saying. When you go, when you go automatic placement, Facebook will place that ad all over the damn place, right? But it's the middle section. It's the news feed that gets the most attention. 
So look, sponsored, there goes an ad. There goes a video ad. There goes a 20-second ad. Newsfeed. So long story short, we're going manual placement, and I'm going to show that ad only in the newsfeed. We're going to make that 100 bucks spread. We're going to make it stretch, I should say. We're going to make that 100 bucks stretch like some freaking elastics. We're going to make it stretch. So we're going there. We're going to hit next. Last step right here. Let's go back. Last step. We, 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 we got our Facebook business page right there. Let's make sure that our IG is connected. Where did it go? Please shoot, uh, um, 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 advertise. Yeah, actually, actually, see, so now it's gone. I connected the IG the first time around a couple minutes ago, but now it's gone because I unchecked everything because I unchecked everything, right? That's why this ain't even, ain't even accessible anymore, which is totally fine. We don't need it on IG anyways. So, um, so we'll, we'll leave that as is. And now we're going to scroll down and right here, rather than create ad, we're going to use existing post. We're going to select post and we're going to go find that video on our page. Okay. So we're going to come down here. We're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And let's find that video. Where is that damn video? Um, right here. Bam. Continue. And you'll see it populate over here to the right. Temporary issue encounter. There's been a temporary issue getting this preview. Please try again later. No big deal. We'll simply continue on. And this right here will we'll clean up all that or clear up. All that is is just when I freaking, it, it just didn't populate, but no big deal. So your pixel is not active. We don't need that right now because simply video view. It's not a, um, it's not a, it's not a, we're not driving traffic to a website. So we don't even need the pixel right now at all. And we're going to simply hit publish and that's it, man. We're going to go publish and we'll see it right over here. Okay, perfect guys. So now it fully populated. Perfect. So look, it's right there. We scroll down, we scroll down. Now what we want to do is we, we will add a call to action button. Okay. Now it's not a freaking lead ad. It's not a, it's not even a send message ad. We're going to, we're going to, we'll add the, 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 the call to action button. We'll add the send message. Um, your ads, this post has, has, has running ads associated. So call to action can be modified this month. Okay. That's fine. So yeah. Cause she, she actually boosted it before, but that's fine. So we don't need any of that right now. That's fine. It's simply for video views. So we'll hit publish and let it go into draft and review and we're good. Awesome, you guys. And we are good to go. So now this video, this video is in review. These are your three tabs, right? Campaigns, ad sets, ads. These are your three tabs. Those are the three step three steps we just simply went through. Okay, so Nine out of 10 times right away, the ad set's going to approve, right? It's always going to say scheduled. Right when it's approved, it says scheduled, right? The budget, the targeting, the demographics, all that stuff, that was the ad set. And then the campaign was the objective, video views, approve right away. What goes into review is your actual video. Facebook's going to re review the video. Facebook's reviewing the text. Facebook would review your image. This is the third step, your third tab, where you'll be in review for anywhere from, from a few minutes up to a few hours. But once it goes scheduled, then that video is scheduled, or that ad, I should say, is scheduled to go live the next day at 6 a.m. That's why I schedule it for the next day, because I don't want to, I don't want to just not schedule it and just, and just place a budget and, and Facebook doesn't approve it until freaking midnight, right? So, I'm going to give Facebook plenty of time. Right now, it's the 17th. It's freaking 6.53. I'm giving them plenty of time to approve to approve this ad, right? So um, that's what I do, you guys. And so now we have our custom audience set up, as I showed you. Our whole objective is to build the 25 percenters um, and, 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 and continue to retarget them in future ads. So that's the first ad, you guys. Actually, actually I should say ad number two. First ad is your like ad. Um, second ad is this intro. So some of you guys are in this type of business. Some of you guys are, are, are selling stuff online where you're not even the face of the brand at all. But if you're a local business owner and you are the face, this is the, the video you want to run out. This is the first ad you want to roll out is introduce yourself, man. Let your, let your audience, let your community, community, let your neighborhood know who the hell you are. 
It's amazing the type of engagement you'll get. It's the it's amazing on how simple this can be. Pull out your cell phone and and do the damn thing and get one out ASAP. All right, guys. So. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications. If you got any value from this video at all, man, either hit the like button or freaking share it. Comment below. Let me know what type of business you guys are building and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video over and out.